Hi guys, Dusty B, and this is what we're going to do today. Pretty quick and a quite simple tutorial. So let's go and start a new one. So 600 by 300 I've picked. You can change the size to whatever you fancy. Let's uh, colour this in black. So black's there. Paint bucket tool. Okay, another layer for the text. Now pick a text with nice thick, you know, nice thick text on this. You don't want a little skinny text. Yep, so that one there should do. Resize it to whatever you think you want it to be. Okay, that should do that. Let's so we'll just mess about with uh, some settings of this. Let's uh, give it a gradient to start with. So, as you saw on the front there, I'm going to make it kind of a, a dark burgundy uh, to a lightish red gradient. So, this is how you do that. And we'll also need some uh, stroke on that. Uh, change that to white. Bit thick for my liking, you might like it like that, or even thicker, but I'm going to change this to two. Okay, let's bevel it, maybe a bit of shadow, inner glow, play about to your happy. Okay, so get your pen tool, make sure you've got this uh, left hand box at the top here selected. So one click on one side, and then a click on the other. That creates your line. Click again about a third of the way in. Press down the control key and push it up with your mouse. And further away from the opposite end and pull it down this time with control selected on the keyboard. And then we just need to uh, complete this shape. Now I've already got my opacity down to 27 here so you can see what's happening behind it. Yours will probably be at 100 so change it to whatever you want. Once you've done that, you can rasterize that layer. So right click, select rasterize, then press your control key down and then click on this um, text icon here. That selects the text, but we don't want to get rid of that, we want to get rid of everything outside the text. Control shift I and then press delete. And once you've done that, all you need to do is press control D to deselect and then just mess about with the settings so uh, let's make this a nice light white colour it's at 20 odd to change it to whatever you fancy Not quite like that but play about with it, you might like it like that that's too far so you've probably seen this kind of effect on lots of logos Pretty easy to do as you've seen. Any questions, please ask. Cheers from Desi B.